There's now a wearable that lets you control your computer with your mind. It's being developed by Control Labs, a Manhattan-based startup that's backed by tech giants Amazon and Alphabet. Control Labs develops neural interfaces to make our interactions with technology more fluid to the point where devices feel like they become part of you. Patrick K. Fosh founded Control Labs with Thomas Reardon. Both of them have PhDs in neuroscience from Columbia University, and Reardon also created Internet Explorer while he was at Microsoft. To make this human-machine link possible, K. Fosh and Reardon figured out how to tap into the body's nervous system. Your brain actually generates commands that then propagate out to your muscles to allow you to move in the world. That's all relayed via what's called the motor nervous system. Ultimately, your brain sends down a, a signal down to your spinal cord, and your spinal cord in turn relays that out to the muscles. This is an electrical signal that actually is received at the muscle. An armband outfitted with a number of sensors detects this electrical activity and sends it to a computer. From there, algorithms decode it and use the signals to manipulate a machine. Users can then do things like scroll through text, turn a dial, or select items from a menu. The signals can even be used to control robots. You don't actually have to move for us to decode some of your intentions. What you have to do is generate that electrical pulse. So what you notice is my hand looks like it's in a fist right now, but if she just keeps me from opening my hand, I can actually open my hand all the way. Or we can turn it here, and you'll notice I can like do one finger or two fingers, <laughs> or my whole hand. I do that by just generating the nerve impulse, even though I'm not moving. We don't decode your movement, we decode your intention. I got to give the system a go to see if it really works. First, I had to calibrate the sensors to my neural signals. It wasn't perfect, but the system was able to detect less intricate motions, such as picking up a water bottle or practicing the queen's wave. Next, I got to really put the system to the test. My task? To hit a number of moving targets by just thinking about where I wanted the cursor to go and trying to not move my hand. You basically want to retrain yourself to think about how you're going to generate force without really moving. Because like, okay. you don't have to, right. but you're used to doing that. Right. As the demo progressed, the system got better at reading my neural signals, and I got faster at hitting the targets. People approach us all the time and ask us, you know, what's the first use case for this technology? It's as if I came to you at the end of the 19th century and said, hey, look, we have this new thing called electricity, and we can generate it on the fly, and you're the VC, and you asked me, like, so what are you going to use this electricity for? And I'm like, uh, what are we not going to use it for? Your phone, a tablet? the computer that's built into a kiosk at the airport. All of those things are potential areas in which control labs can completely change the means by which you interact with those experiences. The team thinks the technology will initially be used for augmented reality and VR, but control labs is also experimenting with medical applications. The first group to which we gave a device uh, was at Johns Hopkins University, where they're using this uh, for neurorehabilitation around stroke and hand transplants. Later this year, Control Labs will release its technology to software developers. I have every faith in the world that this technology will come to dominate the way that we interact with machines. Control Labs may not be the company that pulls that off, but the technology will rewrite technology history. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.